Hello friends, George here. Welcome to my channel. Today we will take a look at the cover art of six Commodore 16 games from the 80s. We will go through three games with great cover art and three games with cover art which I want to change. Just for fun we use for this task a modern AI based image generator like DALI. In my opinion this is an entertaining test case. It also connects our beloved Rotro world to new technology, which I think is also interesting for most of us. Let's remember from the 80s. The graphics of 8-bit home computers, especially of the C16, were usually very limited. A common standard was a screen size of 320 per 200 pixels and a color palette of 16 colors, often even less, sometimes a little more. The publishers could not advertise the games by only showing screenshots on the cassette inlays or boxes. Bigger publishers like Mastertronic usually collaborated with artists which created artwork for specific games. As you know from own experience, some games had fantastic artwork and some had not. Let me show you three games from the positive group. Star Force Nova, a shooter from the year 1987 and released by Mastertronic. Let's enlarge this piece of art and enjoy it a little. Sci-fi art from the 80s, just beautiful. Our next game was also published by Mastertronic, Storm from the year 1987. Beautiful. And last but not least, Air Combat Emulator by Cascade Games with this great, great artwork here. In my opinion, this artwork is so cool, you could make a poster and hang it on your wall. But on the other side, there were also games which had not so great artwork. And I will show you the first game I picked. It's Space Pilot from 1986 by Kingsoft. If you see this cover art for the first time, what game do you expect? Well, it's a space shooter. Our next game is Mr. Puniverse from 1986, released by Mastertronic. I choose this game because of its background story, which does not fit with the cover art. And our last example is Fire Ant from Commodore from the year 1985. As you can see, no cover art at all. So these are my choices, the three games. Don't take this too serious, it's just for fun. And we will use this image art generator, Night Cafe Studio, an AI text to image generator. This site is free and you have to create an account to generate pictures. You can choose between five different creation platforms like Stable Diffusion or DALI and many different creation styles per platform are offered. This site works on a credit based system. You pay one credit for every picture and each picture has a small resolution. And if you want to scale them up, you pay another credit. After creating your account, you get your pictures will be saved and you can download them anytime. If you ask me, that's a fair deal if you want to play around with these image generators. Let's start our journey with Mr. Puniverse first. This game has already great artwork, but why do I want to change it anyway? Well, it's because of its background story, which starts like this. Long ago, in a faraway land, where dinosaurs ruled the earth and men were men and women were women, 
a new breed of man was born. These lines trigger the picture of a beautiful landscape with all kinds of dinosaurs, creatures and a group of people in my imagination. And the group of people is put together of men who are men and women who are women of course. I'm very curious about how the AI will handle these lines as input. The generator is still running at 50% and you can see how the picture builds up. We are now at 75% and what we see here looks very promising. Let's click on the picture and in order to take a better look at the picture I will scale the picture up for one credit, upscaling four times And here is our beautiful by an artificial intelligence generated picture. Really, really impressive. But wait, where are the dinosaurs? Where are the people? Where are the men who are real men and the women who are real women? Did the dinosaur eat them and ran out of the picture for the next meal? Maybe he hides somewhere. I suppose the AI could not pass my input properly or my input was not accurate enough. But anyway, it's an impressive and very beautiful picture. Well done, Mr. AI. Our next game is Fire Ant. This game cover has no cover art at all, so let's read the first sentence of the background story to get some information for the generator. You are the last remaining soldier of an army of ants, which has been destroyed by scorpions. Your sole objective is to rescue the queen ant, who has been taken hostage. I change the lines to a fire ant, the last remaining soldier of its colony, rescues its queen from evil scorpions. And we pay another credit for the picture and let the generator do its work. So, and here is the result. This is a quite impressive picture of an ant and it's surrounded by other creatures. I don't know if they are ants too. And what I'm missing here is, of course, the scorpions. We don't know why, maybe the AI thinks that ants shouldn't fight scorpions because there are size differences. But that's not accurate. A fire ant can grow up to 6 millimeters in length. That is about 0.24 inch. And they found a new species of scorpions which grows up to 10 millimeters in length which is about 0.34 inch and its name is Microtitius minimus. These microscorpions live in the mountains of the Dominion Republic. Let's try Space Pilot now. I've chosen this game because the cover artwork has in my opinion nothing to do with a space shooter. It shows World War I, II and a modern airplane, also a craft that resembles a submarine. This reminds us more of an air combat shooter than a space shooter and even worse we have no background story at all. When reading the title Space Pilot though, I can see a space pilot, male in a blue suit, standing next a space fighter jet at the space haven. And that's exactly what I will send to the AI. So let's waste another credit for our next try and let's see with what our AI will come up. And here it is, 
our new artwork for our game Space Pilot. I must say that's really fantastic. Absolutely mind blowing. I really really like this picture. It has the right color, it has the right style, 80 style, comic style. Absolutely fantastic. Do you like the picture? Let me know in the comments. Back again to our beautiful decorated desk and our three games, which we used for our small but very interesting experiment. I really had great fun doing this. We created three game covers with the help of artificial intelligence and I must say that I am really really impressed. Science fiction from the 80s became reality. And we are at the beginning. Will AI ever replace artists? I don't think so. I believe great art comes from inspiration. With these words I close my video today and I will show the new covers and some other created artwork in a slideshow at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in the next. Bye bye.